Okay, here we are. Top left side. Blue Terran player. He goes by the name of Bunny. The best bronze player Korea's ever seen. And the bottom right side, the red Zerg. He is a Reyna. Little best of three here between these two fellas. Was from the uh, the home stay at home story cup. Can't wait until that is uh, still an actual, well, again, an actual thing. And, and nowadays, I, I actually have money to travel to Germany, so it'd be really cool to have that happen. And I hear it's close, usually to the uh, to the Dutch borders as well. As soon as that is popping off again, I will be making my way over. Anyway. Hmm. What about you guys? You guys go to a lot of StarCraft 2 events overall? Because <clears throat> I really haven't gone to, um, to... Well, yeah, I could actually say any. Um, just a very, very few amount. Which bothers me now, right? Because I can't do it anymore. Now that I've gotten more involved with StarCraft 2, it feels like I, I really should have. But, oh well. Can't change the past, can only look to the future, can we? That's my motto in life. What are we doing here, Rainer? What's going on? Stream Raiders better than Raid Shadow Legends? I mean, Stream Raiders is fun because you can have the entire group of everyone, right? Together, just kind of doing a thing. It's a clever little uh, made program, not gonna lie. But you do have to kind of enjoy those types of things, right? It's it's a similar thing to like one of those AFK arena things, in a sense. Where it, it's just one of those multitasking itches that some people have, I suppose, right? Want to be able to do something else. <clears throat> and to be fair, it does feel kind of fun growing as a stream together with uh, that raid thing as well, right? The stream raiders. Kind of fun. Kind of fun. Makes memories. But not getting too much of a scout, but then again, not much going on in Rainer's base. He stayed on the two base for a little bit here, but he's getting a third now. <clears throat> Whereas Bunny, Bunny is going for a Overlord hunt. We'll make that Viking and regular bit of high in aggression here. on the way together with concussive shell here looks like bunny is gonna try to do the dirty gets scattered here by rainer i suppose sees that attack lab suspiciously quickly early done and sees the armory right here bailing nest is coming up pretty soon it looks like he's making a fair amount of zirklings now the banglings are being morphed it needs to buy a little bit of time for those bad boys to morph of course fully 
Let's see how many drones he loses before that is happening. He is attempting to mine as much as possible here before the drones are forced to be pulled up. And now the bailings already. Good split from our blue Terran though. Beautiful split in fact. The queens are picking away at those units at the front though. The Viking goes down. There's no Medivac healing anything. The Hellbats are getting lower and lower on the HP count. And it looks like the queens might be able to halt their own here. The Marauders actually don't do that much damage against those queens. The Marauders mostly there against uh, Roaches, I suppose, right? That's where they would do their damage. But yeah, it, it looks like this attack from a Bunny. Perhaps it would have done better with the help of a bunch of Marines instead of the Marauders. And then again, that's kind of the gamble, right? The Marauders will allow the Concussive Shell, and that allows those Hellbats to do a lot more work. And GG is called. That's a quick end to that game. Reina takes game number one. In the best of three. Quite nice. Quite nice. All right. That brings us into game number two. Which we're just going to start up right away. Make sure to uh, get your units in, guys. There's five more minutes. Um, after this game, we'll do the battle. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll call it a day. Is that okay with you guys? So that will be the final battle. Your last chance to get in that uh, bit of XP. Get yourself that uh, that chest loot box. I know how it works. I played it for a day. I know how it works. <laughs> no lizard skin. There might be a lizard skin at some point. In the bottom left side, we have that blue uh, Terran. <laughs> Terran. He's Bunny. Oh boy, Bunny. And of course, Rainer on the other side. The red Zerg. What it is, what it is. Uh, th these are some replays from the Stay at Home Story Cup. We just finished uh, Beyond vs. Cyan a little bit early. It was a 4-0. And uh, you know what? I thought, let's have a little bit more fun. We're still waiting on that raid battle to finish up. So let's uh, jump into a best of three from the replays. I have a bit of more StarCraft 2 fun before we call it a day. All right, pretty uh, pretty normal things happening here from these two players. Again, right? Does seem to be uh, kind of the, the case for today overall. We haven't seen much of any cheese really. I guess the uh, the proxy Stargate was the biggest that we've seen coming out of Cyan versus Beyond. Not really working though, unfortunately. So that was a problem. Um, let me see. Got a bit distracted there. It's like a, a thread coming out of my shirt and I don't like that type of stuff, so I'm trying to cut it off with a knife. There we are. The proper way to do that type of stuff. Oh fuck, I just ruined it, didn't I? Just yoinked it out further. That's never good. That's how you ruin sweaters. I need two hands for this. All right. We'll, we'll do it after the show. <laughs> we'll do it on, on the live show, the camera. Something like that. <laughs> uh, just one of those things. You, can't, you, you keep looking at it then, right? I'm just going to roll my sleeve like in a way so I can't see it for the time being. There we go. Oh, that feels better. All right. So what's happening here? Uh, factory barracks. Little Reaper boy coming in to... Uh, Say hi to the circlings and the drones. Make a couple of friends. Uh, murder them afterwards, of course. As the Terrans do. The Terran way to make friendships. Will be for some Hellions here. Yeah. Wondering if we're going to see Bunny once again attempt the Hellbat push. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he does. It is one of those... Uh, Fairly comfortable attacks, right, where if it does hit at a moment where it's opportun uh, opportunistic for it, right, there's not that many bailings out just quite yet, or the defense isn't set up quite perfectly as you uh, would like to as the Zerg. And then very quickly you could just uh, lose your stuff.
bracket right now. This is just a replay we're casting. We've done Cyan versus uh, Bjorn. It was a 4 0, so we, we decided to do a bit of replay casting afterwards, Popeye. I don't know what to say. They're just they're just kind of mackering up here. The two Hellions uh, trying the best. There's Liberators on the way. That's pretty cool. Don't see that every day, actually. Is that the first Liberator? Yes, it is. So, you know what? I feel like I paid a little bit of attention, at least. Uh, third base for Rainer. Would like to see a couple of drones starting to exist there. Looks like Rainer is playing it... Somewhat careful here. Went up to eight Zerklings. That's, uh, that's an okay amount. In case of a couple of Hellions just kind of showing up, you'll you'll have enough with those with the Queens to hold them off for long enough for more Zerklings to kind of appear. How much will for uh, Bunny, of course, appear? Though, and that is the question. With that Liberator also coming in for a different angle. Where is he flying? Will be spotted very quickly, actually. And set up like this onto the third base. The Queen's already here and already being able to get a bit of damage on there. Gonna reposition himself. Oh, the Zerglings getting on top of those Hellions with the Queen's there as well. Forcing the Hellions backwards, not getting anywhere so far. Another Queen from the main base intercepting that Liberator. Already a Spore Crawler there as well. And yeah, it's looking a bit fruitless here for, uh, for Bunny. Not quite being able to uh, get anything, really. And Rainer, I mean, on a comfortable uh, around 50 drones now. Nine more on that production tab. About to finish up. Felt very comfortable with the Hellions and the Liberator kind of rolling around. You realize, all right, if that's all you're bringing to the table, I am in an incredible position. And we're just going to keep making uh, keep making these units. All these, uh, well, these drones here. Already setting up a fourth base as well. Look at that. That's happening before. The third base fourth bunny is even an orbital or even uh, flying across, right? Still at his natural base sitting there. And yeah, this is where Rainer, he is going up to the ridiculous number of drones that he likes. Uh, I think he's going to maybe sit around 70 for a little bit here. Get a couple more units out. And then afterwards we'll... Uh, We'll see him skyrocket further along, of course. Let's see how he does it. Let's learn from the master Italian here. Still a lot of drones. Three more. 73. Bunny, only 53 SEVs, right? Let's take a look, actually, at that income graph. Yeah. Yeesh. That's what happens when you don't manage to do damage as a Terran, right? Or, you know, especially no damage and not really forcing out extra units. That Those are the big two deals. Sometimes if you don't kill drones, it's okay as long as you forced enough larvae and minerals to be spent on making queens and making zerglings. None of that really happens here, so... Bunny, I mean, this is one of the opportunities where maybe he's gonna finally get something done. And, yeah, look at that. Cancelling the uh, the fifth base. A bit upsetting that that is the fifth base, not the fourth base. I'm kind of anticipating Bunny to uh, to assume that that was the fourth base. But he'll figure out uh, differently fairly soon with those two manifests coming along the right side of the map. Seeing that hatchery mining happily along with already quite a bit of minerals missing from those batches here. Not sure if they'll click on them though, of course. Oh, that's nice uh, targeting there. Gets rid of a lot of the banelings. Saves most of the marines. Fourth command center for Bunny coming up as well. Is he uh, is he trying to maintain somewhat of a futile toy here in this game, of course. Rainer, the expert widow mine cleaner here. Trying to get rid of whatever he can. Oh, 
Oh! 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 Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. More uh, harassment here. Bunny, he is making some headway. Looks like this is somewhere where he... Oh, actually, all right. Lifting up. Oh, the Zerglings were coming in, I think. Well, with the Transfuse. He may have been able to get some Transfuse energy maybe out of there. Um, nah, it's fine. It's fine. All right, sorry, Mofi. We're only doing one more battle, and that's the battle that's already ready. We're just doing a little bit of a replay cast here to uh, to close it off and get that final battle done as well. All the, the stream raiders. So now we are having a bit of fun with Bunny and Reyna. I like the creeps' denial from uh, Bunny so far. That's pretty good, right? I mean, Rainer usually absolutely ludicrous amounts of creep, and Bunny's doing a pretty good job containing it. Two Lurker Dents on the way. That's two Lurker Dents on the way. Double upgrade. Let's get it rolling. May as well. I mean, those upgrades, they are quite crucial, aren't they? As soon as you have them, oh, those Lurkers. They become quite powerful. Now, uh, that is going to be a big deal here for Bunny as he is still fighting with a, uh, the anti-Ling Bane squadron. Widowmines, Marines, only a few Marauders spread out in between as well. It's a very difficult uh, moment here for Bunny. He's going to have to make a big switch up into more Marauder and Siege Tank Heavy play. But does he know how close he is to that moment in time? Now the lurkers. No upgrades quite yet available. Wow, masterfully dodged on all of those marines. Getting away. Zerglings already uh, rotating towards that main base as well, of course. There's the double upgrade. But the medevacs are uh, rotating back around. And all of them do get to safety. Bit of a, a wing push here. Trying to get a creep highway going with a ton of creep tumors here. But getting spotted by a small cluster of Terran units. Being able to hold their own here. Siege tank fire. Kind of making uh, Rainer reconsider pushing any deeper onto Terran line. You have no way of really knowing how far those siege tanks reach, of course. It's an awkward battle here indeed. Uh, but, you know what, Bunny... He's getting some okay trades. Has to watch out for the lurkers, especially when retreating. That's when that uh, AoE damage really starts kicking off, of course. Circling, bangling, aggression on the right. Well, I say aggressions. Still a defensive squadron, I would say, actually. At least how Rainer is using them. Oh, this is a big flank, actually. All the units of Bunny being surrounded. Lurkers from both sides. Circlings, banglings. Crashing in from every angle. That was a wonderful engagement right there for Rainer. Seeing that opportunity wonderfully executed as well. Jumping on it immediately and not a moment wasted either within that execution. No unit just idling by, waiting for the go sign, trying to make sure that it would go swimmingly. But there you go. Well played by Rainer. Very well 